Hi guys, I'm Wendy and um, Wendy Ollendorf and also known as Ella Bray and this is Oliver who is uh, going to help us out tonight. Um, this is going to be a little impromptu video, sort of an introduction to hi this is me and also a little witchy haul as well as I set up, started working on my Yule altar so um, we'll see how this goes. I'm going to see if I can flip this camera around and... Uh, share a little bit with you. Be oh, there he goes. He loves shiny things, don't we all? Okay, so this is the beginning of my um, Yule altar, as well as a bunch of other stuff because I just need it all out at the same time. Um, so we'll start with this really cool diffuser thing I just got uh, for, I believe, 95 cents. It's diffuser and incense holder all in one. Sitting atop this piece of pottery that I believe is kind of like a funnel in a way. Um, and then there's my little cal cool cauldron setup that you guys have seen before. And this cool brass candle, which I've got a set of, and they actually hold the little chime candles. And then there's my, um, my God for the moment, uh, Buddha, which I think I paid two bucks for about ten years ago at Target in one of those dollar bins, and then some candle holders I just received, also thrifting, everything's totally thrifted. One of my favorite things right now is this set of brass deer that I just got for $2.93 for the pair, and they are solid brass, and she's really pretty too, and they came with these cool little uh, holiday wreaths around their neck and then I don't have a formal pentagram so um, I took these sage sticks and just sort of made one rudimentary uh, everybody has a bell there's our god's spell vintage brass and wood and there is our god statue and that's my athame and um, lady grave dancer told us we all had to have a sterling silver spoon so I of course have found one of those thrifting uh, and I just love the shape and the design and so this is my mixing spoon of choice and my athame that um, did that I got from Etsy uh, and if you can see right there uh, it did have a goddess um, charm as well as a labradorite on it but the post office ate that off so I determined and they sent me a nice note and I determined that they probably that it wasn't meant to be so um, the lovely Etsy seller wanted to help me out and give me another charm and labradorite, but I decided that it was probably the universe's way of telling me I didn't need those things. That's also a little um, spell jar that is going right now. It is uh, from Pinterest. It is the uh, Bay Leaf Dimes um, Prosperity Jar, which I need for my business right now. And it's actually, I feel, you know, when Jen said the magic is within the witch. So I totally believe that, and today I've really seen, um, I've been working on this jar with the dimes, two dimes a day, uh, for about a week now, and uh, yesterday and today has been pretty incredible, so I have to say I'm super stoked about that. Anywho, so uh, then we'll travel back here. I'm going to save that for like a few minutes, because it's pretty cool. That's everything is. So there's an old liquor decanter that um, has... Uh, full moon water from the last moon in it. Um, it's all been cleansed with uh, Palo Santo. I love Palo Santo. And so I cleansed it out and then um, blessed it and consecrated and all that and then filled it full of purified water and left it out in our last full moon. So I have a great cool old crystal decanter full of full moon water for when we need that. Um, also taking Jen's advice. I already had that but I saw her talk about those on the video. I was like, I have one of those. What am I going to do with it? So there it is, holding my daily call card, which I might as well just put that up there every day because I pull that card all the time. It's from my favorite Universal Mind Oracle deck. Um, and uh, it's the Manifest card, so I'm pretty excited that that's it. Oliver is asking you if you want a cookie. I don't know if you can hear him in the background, but this is my bird. He talks to us pretty regularly, and uh, he wants a cookie right now, so he's asking for one. Anyway, he can't have a cookie. So, traveling continuing on, we have our um, 
our Kuan Yin that I also got at a uh, at Goodwill for a couple bucks. Um, and I've always, I'm, I have a big love of Asian type goodies. So she was perfect, just as is Buddha. So black and white, it's all pretty cool. And then right next to that is this like little child's um, silver mug, silver, silver mug. And I use that as my offering um, for the goddess. Uh, when I ask her for special favors, I know some I, you know, I give her a little little love, a little something. Um, usually there's a little dish for the god too, and I keep granulated honey in that that I found at a spice shop. Granulated honey, so it's not messy and everywhere. And this is our goddess bell. It's a little heart shape and it has a bell inside. And there's the other one of those candles. Oliver, they don't want to talk. And let's see, this bird back there, uh, I've had for a long time, but he fits in. But I also, his name's Harold, and he is symbolic of one of my favorite cats. My, one of my familiars is not with us anymore. Um, and so I named, I pulled that bird uh, right around Christmas time when Harold passed a few years ago. And there's another great thrift store find, this beautiful brass uh, chalice, and we keep that up here as well. Uh, and then some little apothecary jars, because who would I be without a whole bunch of card, uh, jars? So I have those going, and then that is the Universal Mind Oracle that I do my daily pull from every day. And this box here I keep, um, it's sort of like my ancestor altar in a sense. I have jewelry and some things that belong to my grandmother and my grandfather inside the box. So, and that's always in there, as uh, well as um, my uh, intentions for abundance and prosperity are in there and, and Kuan Yin is watching over all that. So then there's these other little mini um, crystal decanters that are waiting for something fabulous sitting there on the altar. And then I found these guys. There's two of them and I used to see them all the time and now I don't. But you can put stuff in there and then they have holes in them. Um, there's two right now and so those I'm deciding what herb magic needs to go inside of there and just um, be sort of like the like witchy balls, um, intention balls, magic spell balls, jars, whatever. Uh, so I've got a couple of those and let's see what's next. And then you guys, I've showed you this because I love it so much. It's this daffodil candle snuffer. And um, let's see, and I just picked up this altar cloth, uh, which is a tablecloth. It's got, it's like Christmas something or other. So let's see here. Oh yes, the best for last. So I just got this dish, and it's painted gold, but it's um, it's ceramic. It is not metal, and it has got all of these little angel people, uh, fairy people down there, and they all are leaning against the base of the bowl. And in here, there's one that's uh, singing, and one with fruits, and one with flowers, and one playing instrument and so I thought this was just really great for like when you know the offering dish um, for the fae and so that guy and I just got it so I was really excited about that and so let's see so anyway that's sort of the overall look of things at the moment um, and it sits atop this old mid-century modern dresser that I in just recently inherited and that is also filled with magical tools and supplies uh, and then um, that's Oliver's cage and he and he's not being bratty on my shoulder like right now he's in there watching over the whole thing so that's kind of it right now um, I just recently moved into this place but I thought that my altar was probably one of the first things first that needed to kind of get set up and today we just got to change it out and uh, make it look like that so anyway that's my altar and you have met me and uh, Oliver, and once again, my name is Wendy, and also my witchy, my witch name is Ella Gray, uh, found in the way that Jen taught us to find it, and it uh, is, means heliobor, which is my favorite flower, uh, winter flower, and also is tattooed all down my arm. Um, so before I ramble on any further, I hope you enjoy this. And I've had a really great experience with all of you, and I have grown leaps and bounds in my path because of you, and I continue, hope to continue to do so. So happy Yule to you all, and uh, hopefully we can all get to tarot stock.
All right. Thanks so much. Love you.